Hello there, um, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. We're, today we're going to talk about um, rowing, and particularly the rowing machine. Um, not so much going to talk about performance sort of stuff, because um, I don't really feel like I'm the kind of um, authority on that. That's probably more Cam's sort of um, area of expertise. Um, but I'm just going to talk about a bit of my sort of ergo technique and things I sort of try and think about while I'm on the ergo and maybe things that help me row on the ergo maybe a bit better and a bit more efficiently. So I'm going to watch the same bit of footage as you and then just talk about a few little things. Actually, there we go. Um, I'll just wait for it to get going. Wipe my sweat off and stuff. Um, so a few things that I'd like to say before I just talk about the rowing. Um, I'm definitely not an authority on this. I don't think what I have to say is definitely um, gospel or whatever, but just take it as it comes. Um, these are sort of just my opinions, um, and I'm definitely not the best on the ergo. Sort of definitely wouldn't claim to be the best, um, but yeah, there we go. Um, so the first thing that I would want to start at is it, I'll start at the finish. Um, and apologies for the. Um, focus on this video it does get a bit better um, so yeah the first thing I would say is starting at the finish I just try and be nice and relaxed um, on the ergo you can kind of cheat it a little bit if you draw up really high that's mainly just to see a bit better split um, kind of cheating the split a little bit uh, my coaches probably wouldn't be very happy um, it, with me drawing my handle up to here but it's kind of a way to relax on the erg because um, I feel like if I'm too sort of down low um, I'm not as relaxed and I don't feel like it's quite as long or as fluid. Um, so, as you can see on the video, I'm sort of drawing like to here, sort of this sort of height instead of just underneath my chest where I put a heart rate monitor. Um, and then as I sort of come away from the back, I'm a little bit, I sort of do everything at once, which is not necessarily ideal. Um, but that's just another thing about being smooth. Um, everything I do on the erg, I'm trying to sort of conserve energy. Um, and figure out how I can make the split as easily as easy as possible um, without putting as as much work down if that makes sense because um, if I'm just working hard um, for the sake of not getting any extra speed there's not much point um, another thing that I do like I've just done on the on the video um, I'm trying to relax all the time so I sort of shake my arms out um, to try and get out of my shoulders. So if I think that I'm sort of getting like into this position, I sort of shake myself out um, and try and reset um, what I'm doing. Um, and that, that sort of works quite well for me. Um, in terms of the drive, which is obviously where the, um, the power is coming from, I try and think about getting my legs down first. I know that a lot of people on Cam's channel like to criticize him for getting on his arms early. The reason I don't do that is I don't really feel like I'm strong enough to do that. I think it's definitely um, advantageous for some people who are very strong. I learned that I know that um, Simon Van Dort does it and Cam definitely does it um, and quite a lot of people who are very good on the uh, will take it in their arms just because they've got so much strength that it doesn't really matter that they're taking it with their arms. They, they're getting a lot of power for a lot of the stroke because they're adding their arms to their leg power, whereas I sort of think I can push my arms, push my legs for longer and hold onto my arms. The arms are the thing that I'm trying to think about doing as a sort of afterthought. Um, so if you watch the footage, I'm sort of thinking, can I get my um, legs down and my back over and then like just add the arms as a little sort of extra little bit the split probably wouldn't change too much for me being arms and um, arms and back compared to just having the arms in as well in terms of the where I'm coming to at the cage I'd say I'm actually probably rowing a little bit too long around the front if you watch my shins if this was to be like side on my shins are almost coming over vertical um, which is definitely not the right thing to do um, if if a coach was to probably look at that it's not a particularly strong position so I'd definitely try to um, make sure my shins are just getting to vertical, not necessarily reaching for the cage too much, because um, that can definitely be detrimental 
uh, if you're on a on a 2k or whatever you're not going to push very um, strongly if your legs if your shins are um, over vertical yeah in terms of um, my arms again I'm trying to think about holding the handle quite loosely so on the recovery sometimes I put my thumbs on top sometimes I sort of just almost letting it go um, and then my hands are just a little hook on the on the um, handle which is literally just hook in and then letting go hook in um, I'm not trying to like really grab it or yank it um, and I feel like that's another one of those things that I do to just um, be as relaxed as possible um, this is obviously quite a slow erg I think it was about 153 154 um, split so really really nothing spectacular I did just like I think this was the the second 6k of a um, 18k session um, and I just said to the screen that was 144 heart rate so a little bit higher than I probably like for this but I think this was early in the day and my heart rate tends to be quite high at that point um, in terms of the recovery again I'm just trying to think about being relaxed and getting everything done ideally I'd like to have my hands over my knees at least past my knees by the time I'm bending them um, but that's one thing that I've always done quite badly um, just from learning to skull as a junior I, you sort of, I was just doing my own thing um, and sort of learned to just do everything at once which is fine for sculling in a single because you can get away with it it's not going that quick, you're not going to be rating um, super high off the start or whatever but I've sort of found myself wanting sometimes in an 8 where I'm rating whatever 48 or 46 or whatever off the start and I can end up hitting my knees so that's one thing I definitely try to improve um, with my rowing is the separation that I get it's quite smooth I feel but it could definitely be more technically sort of correct if that's the right way to put it um, Another thing that I'm sort of trying to think about um, is using the big muscles instead of using the smaller muscles. Like I, I know um, the thing that I try and think about is getting in my lats and getting in my like sort of my posterior chain, so my legs, and starting with my bum, my glutes, and trying to fire those because um, my, my your lats and sort of glutes are definitely where a lot of the strength are, you'd probably be able to hang quite comfortably with just straight arms, um, which is what I'm sort of trying to do if you see me at the catch. My lats are the first thing to sort of tense, and well not necessarily tense, but they're taking the load and then um, I try and hang all the way through um, to that. Obviously if you got any sort of things that you think I do wrong then that's fair enough, but this is just sort of the way I'm rowing. Also remember that I've not really been coached um, on the ergo for well no one's seen me rowing for probably three months now so this is definitely probably worse than it has been um, when I've been training at the club but yeah this is this is just obviously what it's like at the moment um, but yeah if there's anything that you can think to, to add to this definitely um, put it in the comments um, if you want to just have some row alongs or whatever we can have some of those videos up I know that a lot of people like Cam's ones and we can we can definitely do something with me and Cam or me and Cam and Rich if he wants to get on the oak but I doubt that because he's no longer sort of rowing he's more of a coach now um, but yeah let us, let us know um, also like the video as well because that definitely helps um, but yeah that's pretty much all I've got to say about my own rowing I don't want to sort of bore you for too long I think that's been whatever eight minutes so yeah um, thanks for watching see you next time